Hey guys, what is up? It's Mick Guy here, and today we're going to be doing the part 2 of the scroller game. So, let's just get right in. So, so far we have a pretty good game. As you can see, you can move around pretty smoothly. But the main problem is that you can go right through the building. And also right through the tree. So, it's pretty easy to fix this. Uh, so, let's jump right in. So, in Sprite 1, we're going to go to Events. And then drag in a when flag is clicked. Then go into Control. Drag in a forever, and then drag in an if. Now in the if, we're going to be checking our direction. So, um, well, first of all, this all has to be inside a bigger if, which is the if touching sprite 2 or touching the sprite 3. So in this if, every time we add a new sprite that's in our game, we're going to have to add that to make sure that uh, the sprite accounts for hitting those sprites. So in this case, we only have the tree in the building, which is sprite two and sprite three. So in that, we're gonna have another if, a couple ifs actually, and we're gonna be testing our direction. So if direction, well, we have dragon and equal, go into motion, scroll down, and as you can see, we have a direction. So if our direction equals 90 then all we want to do is change our scroll y so go into data drag in the change put scroll y and then go into operators get the multiplication one and go into your data again and then drag out a player speed then multiply this player speed by two so basically, if the direction equals 90, we're gonna change scroll y by two times the player speed. We're gonna right click the if, press duplicate and copy it over again. Then we're gonna say if direction equals negative 90, change scroll y by player speed multiplied by negative two this time. So negative 90 and negative two. Now click on the first if, click on the, uh, the letter if right here, and press duplicate. So now we're going to duplicate two over if, so we should have a total of four. Here, if direction equals 180, then change scroll x by two, and then if direction equals zero, which is going to be our last one, change scroll x by player speed times negative two. This should work pretty smoothly right off the bat. We'll check it out. As you can see, it does hit it and it does go back pretty hard, but that's because we did the times two and the times negative two. If we kept it at times one and times negative one, it would have worked for things like the building where it's square, but it would not have worked for things such as our tree because it has uh, not, it doesn't have perfect sides and it's not a rectangle or square, so yeah. So that's why we had to add this two and instead of making it a one. Uh, if you guys only have uh, squares or rectangles in your project, then you're gonna, uh, you can keep it as one and that would be much smoother. So this is all it's really gonna take. Um, but right now we're gonna add a sprint, uh, a sprint thing. So if you press shift while you're moving, then sprint, uh, the sprint action is going to be enabled. It's pretty simple. So, again, start off with when flag clicked. Go into events. When flag is clicked, control forever. If let's clean this up really quick. Sorry about that. Forever. If sensing key shift is pressed. Well, I don't think there's a shift here. So instead. We're gonna make it, um, let's make it, uh, so we have arrow keys, let's make it space. For now, we can change that if we wanna have something in space later, like maybe a gun or a bullet uh, being shot. But for right now, we're gonna do if key space is pressed, then this is a new block in Scratch 2.0 and they've actually updated it. So it's not when Scratch 2.0 came out, but actually after that, go into our control, we do wait until. So. Uh, before the wait until, we're going to say set player speed 
to two times, so drag in the multiplication one, and then here in data, we're gonna do a player, uh, sorry, player speed by actually two, just here. So then you have to wait until um, it's not being cl clicked anymore or held down anymore. So wait until not key space is pressed. And then you can set, um, set player speed to player speed divided by two. So add in a two over here, go into data, drag in player speed. This should work pretty smoothly. Um, so you can see you're moving, oh, whoops. Um, we should have it in there. <laughs> okay, so moving pretty nice. You press space, you move faster, and then you move regular, so space, let go. So yeah, if you guys tried this, it should work perfectly. And this, so we just added a, uh, an, effect, a um, an action so that you can't go right through the building or through the tree and so you can sprint. So in a lot of games, they have a sprint, a sprint um, action, and that's what we've essentially added. So that's gonna be it for part two. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want a part three, let me know. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Peace out.